You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. Welcome back. It is the time for the Dinosaur Festival and the Natural History Museum of Utah is holding its seventh annual Dino Fest this weekend. This year, the theme is Bones to Beast and it's a chance for people of all ages to learn more about the history of dinosaurs in Utah also having a great time. So to tell us more about this, we have Carrie Levitt Levitt Lusan with the Natural History Museum of Utah in studio to talk a little bit more about this exciting event. And you have some interesting objects that you're going to be sharing with us as well. Yeah, absolutely. Dino Fest is really my favorite event that the Natural History Museum of Utah does because it's all about dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. And like you said, it's for people of all ages, not just for the little kids. And you're a paleontologist as I well. I am. I have the coolest job ever. You really do. And I, I know a lot of people have heard about Utah's history with dinosaurs, but a, a lot of people don't realize how much we have here. Tell us a little bit about that. It's really the best place in the world for dinosaurs. There's so many different age rocks exposed at the surface. And so you can literally be like, what kind of dinosaur do we want to dig today? And it's in Utah. And the theme this year, it's bones to beast. What does that mean? What are we working with? Yeah, so it's a really cool theme because there's so much in a fossil's journey from when we find it to when it gets on display at the museum. And so we're kind of talking about how we actually flesh out the dinosaurs. How do you do that? Uh, it takes a lot of work from the fossil preparation, initially finding the bones, to curating it in the collections, to doing all the research. It involves a lot of different technologies like CT scanning and surface scanning, so it's pretty cool. And I read somewhere that you guys have a lot of items that are always at the museum that we don't really get to see because they're, they're in storage or they're being properly cared for. Tell us about that. Yeah, only about 1% of the fossils wow. that we have ever go out on exhibit. Every Everything else is behind the scenes in the paleo collections that I work in. So I'm kind of like the librarian, but for fossils. So this Dino Fest is one of two times that the museum actually opens these collection spaces for people to see. I can imagine that takes a lot of work because you have so many items that are so fragile. What goes into being able to share those with people? Yeah, so we pick out the really cool ones for people to see. We obviously don't let anybody touch all of them. Right, we even will, we want to. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we will have a touch table in collections so oh, the littles that. can get all of their uh, wiggles out to touch some real fossils, which is really an interesting experience. <laughs> and tell us a little bit on what we have here on display today. Oh yeah, so I wanted to show you some of my yes. favorite fossils. Um, the big uh, skull is actually Allosaurus fragilis, which is Utah state fossil so we have the most of anywhere in the entire world um, and then what's cool is next to it is we have one of Allosaurus's limb bones but it's been fossilized with amethyst inside. Wow that that is incredible uh, before we go I know we're running out of time and I have so many more questions, unfortunately. <laughs> but before we go, where can people find more information about this? Uh, yeah, so on our website, nhmu.utah.edu, so the Natural History Museum of Utah, um, there's a Dino Fest page. Okay. Um, it's this weekend, January 28th, 29th, um, from 10 to 5, and it is really a great event. It sounds fabulous. Thank you so much for joining us. And My you can pleasure. see right there where you can get all the information. All right. Come